Welcome to all of uh, my dear students. I am Dr. Ramana from Sai Mehta Institute. So there is a notification from the Power Grid Corporation. Power Grid Corporation, especially for diploma, electrical, and civil students. This notification is for diploma, electrical branch as well as for civil branch students. So that if any students belongs to the electrical and civil, this video you can share to your friends. And also for better information, you try to subscribe our channel. The first important point here is, you want to know the clear details. First of all, you should go through our uh, website, not our website, this Power Grid website, www.powergrid.in. Entire details are available. Even if you got further any queries, please send a message in our uh, chat box or in uh, our YouTube channel. Our coordinators will give an answer for you. Even during the application process, if you have any doubt, you can send a query in our what is that? YouTube channel. Now coming to here one by one, we are going to discuss one by one. See here, this is I told you already the number of vacancies and uh, the qualification and everything we are going to discuss here. The post is Diploma Trainee Electrical. Diploma Trainee Electrical. The number of vacancies are 30. Number of vacancies are 30. Sir, don't feel that uh, they are given as a trainee. Is it a trainee job? No, 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 no. It is a permanent job for you. One year is your uh, training period. After completion of training, automatically you are eligible as a supervisor in the power grid corporation. Junior engineer, you are selected as a junior engineer. And the number of vacancies, under category wise, unreserved candidates having 11 jobs, OBC having 7 jobs, SC category have 2 jobs, ST category, economically weaker section will have 1 job. How many vacancies are there for civil engineering? Civil diploma orders. For civil diploma orders, the number of jobs are 5. Out of that, unreserved is 2. OBC is 1. SC is 1. Economically weaker section is 1. These are the how many vacancies are available. Strictly speaking, don't feel that sir, only 5 vacancies are who knows? You may be the selecting person. You may be the right person to get the job. First you apply. The next we will see. Because everybody feels that number of jobs are less, number of jobs are less. Who will apply? Is it or not? Try to apply, attempt. Even next time the number of jobs may more. This experience may help you to get the job. Even whatever the exam pattern is available, timing and uh, management of the time in the examination hall, everything may help you for some other examinations. So that, try to apply. Coming to the uh, job specification, you must have diploma with the 70%, that is for open category and OBC. Whereas, even for civil and electrical is 70% is the minimum requirement. However, for SC and ST candidates, there is no percentage of marks. Simply, pass is sufficient. Pass marks, if you have a certificate, it is sufficient to appear for this exam. Other than SC and ST candidate, they must have a 70% of marks. Minimum marks is required. And age limit if you comes, 27 years. For uh, open category, as well as uh, economically weaker section category. But whereas, three years additional relaxation is available for OBC, non-criminal, and five years relaxation is there for SC and ST category. 
So 27 plus 3, 27 plus 5. According to that, the number of age, the number of years is limited. And one important point, everybody will have a doubt. Sir, I am a BTEC in electrical engineering. Is it I am eligible to write that exam or not? No. BTEC or BE electrical engineering students are not eligible to write this exam. You must have diploma in electrical engineering or diploma in civil engineering. That is the first most one. Unnecessarily don't apply the graduate students for this job. Diploma holders are only eligible. Higher education is not valid. What is the selection process? Sir? This is generally these days. What is the selection process we have? Computer based test, written test exam. Without written test, who will do the exam? So it is a computer based test. There are two parts, part one and part two. In the part one, corresponding to our discipline. For example, you are electrical, you will have 120 questions in electrical engineering. If you are a civil, 120 questions are there in civil engineering. That is the part one. In the part two, another 50 questions, aptitude, reasoning, analytical thinking, uh, you have some sort of English, all together you will have the part one and part two, 120 marks and plus this one, aptitude, reasoning, and etc. All the syllabus is available, go through it, no problem. Written test. You are, uh, there are two languages. One is English, other one is Hindi. The paper is available in uh, English and Hindi. So, and one more important point is, you have a one-fourth of negative marking, 0.25 of negative marking. So, you must be very careful. By fluke, you won't get the job. Who are having birthday in the subject, they will get the job. This is one good symptom. For serious preparation aspirants, it is an advantage. And what is the minimum marks you require? First of all, 40% marks are required for the overall examination. That is the minimum marks. It means you must get 40% of marks in this category and 40% of marks. Good combinedly, you should get 40, not individual. But when you come to the individual, you each part may have 30%. Every paper you have to score minimum. For example, if you have a 50, 50 questions are here, at least you have to answer 15 marks here. You must get 15 marks here. Otherwise, you are not eligible. Suppose you got 100 marks here. If you got a 40 marks here, you are not eligible to selection process. Every part will have minimum of 30%, overall minimum of 40%. Don't feel that, uh, sir, if I got a 40%, will I get the job? Not like that. The minimum qualifying marks is this one. For uh, another category, what is that? Uh, reserved category, minimum of 30 marks overall, and uh, part wise is concerned, minimum is 25%. Every part, minimum is 25%. For the category of what is that? Reserved SCST category will have this much of percentage of marks you need. And a very important thing, where is the centers, examination centers? Very limited examination centers are there. One is Delhi, other one is Jaipur, and one more is Deharadon. Deharadon. These three places are the examination center. Even if you are belongs to the Andhra and Telangana, even if you are belongs to Odisha, even if you are belongs to the Karnataka, you should have to appear any of these three places, any of these places. Sir, all are eligible. Sir, the jobs or exam centers are Delhi. I am eligible to write this exam. All over India exam it is. All over India exam. And uh, power grid corporation, they give very good salaries. It is a public sector undertaking unit. The salaries are very, very reasonable and good package will be available. Over a time of experience, even the diploma holder get uh, more than 1 lakh salary. More than 1 lakh salary. Keep it in mind. So that's why you try to get this job. Try to. You should have a plan. So how to get the, out of 120, how many marks we have to get. Generally engineering students, diploma students, they are strong in the diploma core subjects. They are weak in the reasoning, English, as well as aptitude. If you are can able to concentrate on those subjects with your uh, 
branch knowledge, if you add these knowledge, automatically you may get the job. Watch. And during training period, during training period, the salary is 27,500. It is a fixed. No other allowances they will give. It's a one-year period. No HRA, DA. It is a fixed salary during training period 27,500. After the regularization, that is, once if you are appointed as a permanent job, your training is completed, base, basic is 25,000. Don't feel that, sir, my salary is 25,000. In training 27,500. Why they are, no, no, no. It is a basic. I think you know very well. So, for basic, HRA, DA, lot of allowances will be coming to the picture and uh, it may go to 1,17,000. Uh, I told you already. So, above 50,000, I think in the first, uh, after completion of your training itself, you will get it. No problem. Over a time, you may go to 1,17,000, something like that. This will also vary. After some time, this will also vary. And, uh, and one more important is, if you are decided to join this job, then only you take the appointment order because there is a three years bond. Minimum three years. Once if you are appointed, if you join for the power bit corporation, minimum we have to work for three years. Otherwise, what happened? You want to pay some penalty. You want to skip the job. You want to come out from the job. You need to pay 2 lakhs 50,000 rupees. Even if you worked for one month, after one month, if you put a resignation letter, you have to pay 2 lakhs 50,000, then only your resignation will be accepted. Otherwise, it is not accepted. After two and a half years, two, two years, 10 months, even if you want to resign, you have to pay 2 lakhs 50,000 rupees. So, once if you decide for this job, then only you take an appointment. Otherwise, not advisable. Okay, but. 2 lakh 50,000 for an SC and ST category, 1 lakh 25,000 SC, ST, uh, and uh, PWD. Okay, right? These candidates has to pay 1 lakh 25,000 rupees as a bond value. And the last date of the examination, already uh, the application process is started. Application process is there. You go through the online. And the last date of the examination is June 15th of 2021. June 15th of 2021. And uh, examination date is not given. There is a, after the 15th uh, evening, everybody will know that who are eligible to write exam. They will reject it. If you are not eligible, they will reject your application. Or otherwise, they will ask a query. You have to fulfill that queries. If you are eligible, automatically, you will get the acceptance for this application. And examination they, they will declare shortly because of this COVID situation, they are not declared the ill, they are not declared the examination date. Wait for the date. No problem. You will have two to three months of time. For this one, you should have a proper plan, easy to get it. And for especially for electrical students, the number of vacancies are 30. Very good vacancies, reasonable vacancies, may, may not be very bulk vacancies, but there is a probability to get the job. For civil students, there are five jobs are available. Always, if you need any support from the Sai Medha, you can take whatever help is from Sai Medha. All the best, all the best. And uh, upcoming, you can watch our Sai Medha for further any jobs details or course details and everything is available in our channel. Thank you very much.